Hello everybody, Walters954 here coming at you guys with another Python coding bat practices. Alright, so in this one, I do get a little slipped up in it, but the basic concept is there. It's just getting the actual syntax down. So first we need a temporary variable or just something to return since we're adding them all together. So that is results. Then we're going to have to loop through all of the positions in str so you can see there for range I actually have length str so len str will return an integer of how long like a string is so code the first example is of length four so it'll give you, it'll loop through it four times so that's just a quick function that you'll need at the end of str, you'll see that I'm missing my actual close parentheses. And it messes me up for this entire thing because, all right, the compiler problem will say line three, but I'm like, what's wrong with line three? Line three looks perfect. So I check back to my old ones, even show the solution for the old ones. Like I just can't figure it out. I try using range x because I don't fully understand the difference between range x and um, range which I think I went over it already but if I didn't range like range x creates a temporary variable blah 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 don't use range x it's only exists in Python 2 and below so once you get to Python 3 range x gets taken away so what I end up doing is actually copying the last problem that I did that had range used properly and I figure out okay well this is what's wrong I couldn't tell before you see me flipping back through it so I actually finished it off using slicing nothing out of the ordinary for that just a little syntax error that messed me up now for this one we're trying to count how many nines are in an array this ends up being a little weird Again, like this whole, I guess, part two section of the warm-ups, they mess me up. And you can hear those dang guys riding their motorcycles in the background. Anyways, this whole, like, section, things just mess me up that are a little, like, quick things that I could have been fixed if I would have noticed them, if I had more experience in Python. So you can see automatically, oh, I did catch it, where uh, nums needed to be surrounded in the parentheses. So, you can do x in a range or x is in nums I haven't fully figured out the difference between those two and I didn't know if you could do plus equals to count but you can so I figured that out later a little confused about the syntax here line 4 what's wrong oh it has to be equals equals so coding bat doesn't actually tell you things like that it gives you at least the line which does help but it doesn't help you out with anything else so just keep that in mind when you're doing these problems it doesn't tell you exactly where the problem is and sometimes like places won't tell you exactly where the problem is so for this one I messed up because I'm looking for whatever wherever 9 is in the number so I'm gonna try and do if 9 is in there yes 9 is in there but it's actually running three times it's it's not saying alright 9 is in this position this position and this position it's saying alright 9 is in here yes we're going to increment this and it runs three times because of the length so I finally figured that out here it's not actually supposed to be length and I just do in nums so it's going to run through all of the list of the numbers in here so that's a good kind of pickup that I got. And I can see that, alright, this is running correctly for that. But I need to check or change x because x is now turning into whatever the individual variable for um, that is running through for 9 is. So I actually get this one correct because it's x turns into each index of it. And I see if plus equals could work. So there you go. For this last one, uh, the front nine, I don't think I have too much problems. Um, the first one thing that you kind of have to know about this, 
with slicing, you can actually um, iterate through a loop that has been sliced. So if you say like the first set of three, then it'll go through that for the slicing. So I spent a little time just trying to figure out the question because I'm a little bit confused. But for the first example, one, two, nine, and three, it needs to return true because nine is in the first set of three. So I do four, X is in, and this is where the slicing has come from. Since I don't have a number in front of the colon in the slice, it automatically takes from the beginning. And I didn't know where the slicing started and stopped. So you can see it goes over to five, but I actually needed to go to the fourth number. So I didn't know where the slicing started counting from. So that's why I was doing a little check there. And you can see on the run section, um, where the output is and how that one works. So if X is equal to nine, then we need to return true. We don't even have to check all of them. It's like if the first one is nine, then we need to stop the for loop and then return true. We could go through all of them, but there's no point to. So I'm gonna go through using a break in here. So if you don't know, breaks will take you out of the for loop, whatever that is. And I start a temporary variable of bool, which is just a boolean true or false. So I'm gonna set bool to false first and then move towards, um, it will be set to true if it hits that, if it hits the if statement correctly and then break out of it so you don't have to go through everything. So thanks for watching, make sure to uh, Look out for some of my other Python videos and tutorials. Make sure to subscribe, leave some comments, see if you like these videos or not. Thanks.